Okay, so we're in Texas Canyon, Arizona. This is our, well, hopefully one of our last rest stops <laughs> for a while. We're about 350 miles from Quartzsite. Those are all my rocks. <laughs> I call them, they're mine. You can't have them. When you ask where Quartzsite is, this is where it is. <laughs> Where's Quartzsite? Out here. Out here with cacti. All the total ten rosés and a few cold water. Here we go. Quartzsite 33. Rainbows of Quartzsite. We've had a little bit of a rainy day here. Finally getting to lunch. Hi, Armando. John. Gila. <laughs> Annie and Pooey. Expose the rainbow. <laughs> Expose the rainbow and save the albatross. Save the albatross. What kind of shark's tooth is in that black phosphate? A ray. A rat. How do you say it? I know the front is the best value in these is for specimens, it's for jewelry quality teeth. Those kind of serrations, you can get perfect serrations and tip like that, these sizes, really good to do it. Can I see it up close? I'm out of this matrix in two minutes. Let's see it. Yeah. These are perfect. Here. Take it off. This is very crumbly. Let me see. This you is how you take it off with your this finger. Before you prepare it? Yeah. We got low gun pipe, whatever they're called. This is called target practice. <laughs> I lost to John, so now it's Ann versus John. That's our target. Ah, table, Annie! Alright, so this is our space. These are our neighbors. We'll be making this beautiful shortly. We've just unpacked the truck. This is our show. Right here outside of a hotel. In the middle of Tucson. These are all our neighbors here. First floor is still the vendors. Second floor is usually just living quarters. Our neighbors, they like to introduce themselves, always. <laughs> so, we will show you how this looks later on when we get all dazzled up. Rolling out the red carpet. So here's the tent after one day.
this is what can be done. We've got our outside table started. This is where we attract our people. Right on through. All our different materials. Our inside, the bird's eye. More minerals and cabs. <laughs> That's a whole lot of rock. And into the tent. Now we're not completely finished. We still have some minor things to do. But considering you saw the morning when it was empty, here it is at the end of the day. Ready for business. This is day one in Tucson. You guys, a quick walkthrough of our Sierra Madre booth. We've got our bears and buffaloes up. Our specialty rocks. Organizing some rocks. A whole lot of beads. Rocks, rocks. Just like all our other shows. Tons of rocks. But this is how we do it in Tucson. We'll be here till February 14th ish. And then we're heading out. Alright, so here we are in Tucson. This is our last week of the show. I'll show you our booth, what's been going on around here. People from all over. That's a huge piece of petrified wood. It's gigantic. Watch. See, compared to the person in the truck, it's huge. These are all the horses, Brazilian materials from all over. Lots of points. Get a shot of that later, but that's the um, large quartz crystal that was sold. Lots of minerals, and that's the highway. See, rocks can be sold anywhere. Our neighbors and our completed booth. We've been through a couple of rainstorms. We're still holding strong, doing good. So there's a quick update from Tucson. Try to get around later and get some more. We've got huge amethyst geodes down at the end of this lot that I'd love to go get you guys on. But there's the petrified. So, it's been raining in Tucson. And people laugh around here and they say, well, it never rains here. It's raining a lot. This is the water seeping up. This is where the tent is at night. See how wet it gets under our tent. So needless to say, we're doing rescue work in the morning, trying to fix everything back up. But our carpet looks very fancy. I think we'll give it a cleaning. So, this is uh, working in Tucson after the rain, trying to get your booth back up and running. So, we'll show you how it looks when it's all done. And just to show you, this is how I pick up my water. I scoop it in a smaller bottle and I put it in there. So that's how much water you can get after a night of sleeping. That's a good amount of water if you're sleeping on your side. Well, we are on our way home and I'm so happy. This is what our car looks like when we drive home. This is right behind our headrest. We are packed. I have no foot space. That's where my feet go for over 2,200 miles. Oh, that's it. We got our lucky rocks on the dashboard. We're driving home. Stop for lunch. Quick stretch of the feet. We're on the go again. That is a full load. <laughs>